The legislative session is well underway in Lansing, and what would it be without the discussion of no-fault auto insurance reform? 24-hour News 8 political reporter Rick Albin spent the day in Lansing. He joins us now with the latest incarnation of changing the way our auto insurance looks. Rick. If I would have known 20-some years ago how often I was going to do not all stories, just this story, I would have just numbered them. <laughs> so I would have started tonight by saying uh, this is number 121 on no-fault insurance because that's what it seems like. You know, the only other issue that's talked about more than the, the idea of auto insurance or auto no-fault reform is the state budgets. Topic I hear about more than almost anything else. We know we have some of the most expensive auto insurance rates in the country. We also know we have the most generous payout for catastrophic claims, for injuries from auto accidents in all 50 states. The question is how to contain costs and maintain coverage options. There's been no plan introduced to make changes in the system this session yet. But today, CPAN, the Coalition Protecting Auto No Fault, laid out some ideas they think could reduce cost. Among those ideas, the group of providers and advocates for people with long care medical needs from auto accidents said they would accept some fee schedules, that is, agreeing to standardized cost for accident victims. Likewise, they would set a limit on the hourly rate for family-provided attendant care. Those are both positions the group has been opposed to in the past and that they say would save money. In return, they want insurance companies to quit using credit scores to set insurance rates and get approval before raising rates. And finally, the group wants transparency for the Michigan Catastrophic Claims Association. We want to make sure that these are most catastrophically injured people in the state of Michigan are cared for appropriately and for long term. Now, as I pointed out, CPAN is in favor of no-fault insurance and the catast catastrophic claims fund, but this is where the group of providers and insurers have their biggest difference. CPAN wants the MCCA, a $20 billion fund, to be made public. They want to know the mechanism for setting rates for the fund out in the open. They want to know liabilities and all the rest, and in the end, this is the same argument we have heard for years. It is the place where many of the arguments about no-fault reform have begun and ended. Now, in response, the Insurance Alliance of Michigan issued a statement saying, in part, we welcome CPAN to this important effort to reform Michigan's broken auto no-fault system by reining in rising medical costs and bringing much-needed relief to Michigan consumers. But they said nothing about the MCCA, and that's where this argument has always fallen apart. So to get the insurance companies, the providers, hospitals, doctors, all those folks, and the legislature and the governor and consumers all on board with the change to no-fault, it's going to be a heavy lift but they may, may try it again. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Again. Again. Thanks, Thank you, Rick. Rick.